Good morning, everybody. Hey. Or good afternoon, good night, wherever you are in the world, or whatever time you're watching this. Thank you for joining us today. This is Majlib, we're yes. the Vasquez family, and in today's video, we're going to be reacting to The Mandalorian, Chapter 15. This is Season 2, seven. so we are seven episodes in. Let's get that. I, I, I don't remember, maybe you guys can fill us in. I'm, I'm pretty sure you. there's eight in this one again, or there's ten. Might be two extra episodes this season, but... We are reaching the end of this season. It's been, an, I mean, a pretty spectacular oh season. Grogu's yes. gone. Um, so that's sad. Grogu has been taken, and now Mando is is getting his team ready. And Boba We're Fett, Boba Fett, you know, it's just no big deal. the best duo since, yeah. And we did see the um, Disney new reveals of all the Star Wars stuff coming out. Yes. So Ahsoka. this changes things a bit for us, oh, for at yeah. least for me, with yeah. Ahsoka. I think some she of you have said coming. she probably wouldn't come back because they were setting her up for right. her own coming. show. So. so it's just probably what they will do. And yeah. same thing with the Rangers of the New Republic. And they said that they're going to have this crossover series. thing happen. And the Bad so Batch. Let, me, let us know There's what you so thought about coming. any of those. If you guys saw the Investor Day thing. Here. And we will get to those and share our those commentary on those reactions. Those are coming soon. Stay tuned There's, for that, yes. please. But let's jump into this episode. Yes, please. Yes, doing that. Waited long so, enough. Let's go. <laughs> it's exciting, man. After that Investor's Day. It's, so mm -hmm. it's just getting started. The amount of content Disney is coming out with is going to be... Oh. Yeah, it looks like K2SO. Like the droid? The droid from Rogue One, I forget. Oh, the bottom. Ah, what? What? Inmate 34667, to send and receive new instructions. The same robots from that episode that we first saw him in. Please salute Marshal Dune. She's so awesome. Yeah. I remain prisoner number 34667 to my custody. Affirmative. <laughs> Inmate 34667. Please follow Marshal Dune to transport. Such a cool name. So we're gonna tell him what's going on. Let's go. I've got a job for you. <laughs> Inmate 34667. <laughs> Imagine living there for like. Inmate three four six six seven. You have three seconds to comply with your new directive. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> hey. He doesn't know her. Are we taking me? I don't think. Yeah, no. Mm -mm, he doesn't. Hello? You cool man. Yo. He cleaned it up. He's all polished. <laughs> oh, oh, it's like a yeah. mat. Ooh. <laughs> Dude, Boba Fett, that. I still can't hey. believe it. And no. <laughs> because you're Imperial. Hey, that was a long time ago, all right? But you still know your Imperial clearances and protocols, don't you? I just love the music of the show. He's setting up his team, dude. Now you just gotta add uh, both to Yeah, the believer. Believer. Oh, it moves with the. We need coordinates for Moth Gideon's cruiser. Moth Have we ever been inside Boba's ship? Yes, yeah. yeah. no. I'm just taking back to the scrapyard. I'm not going that. They have his kid. The little green guy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The little green guy. <laughs> well, what's in it for me? You get a better view. Fat. Oh my, I can't, uh, it's still like, I can't man, it's so, so <laughs> Oh my gosh. And that armor, ship. Dude. Highly volatile and explosive. Yeah, kind of like this one, huh? <laughs> Anti-aircraft cannons protecting it. And a platoon of security forces. Man. So we go in quiet. Let's go get a closer look. All the Imperial bases are the same. same. Isn't that, I don't know why that, it looked like the, um... It reminds me of, um, Fallen Order. Fallen Order, you Yeah. Now's the time. Oh, that's so cool. Cool. 
something back. <laughs> Why wow. do your push ups in the morning? Yeah. Sky reeked. <laughs> they never talk about that, how the suits could actually, like, not smoke. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh, the shame. Now, that right there is worth the price of admission. Take care of this. Keep it safe. I will. Or just put it on. Still on the clock? <laughs> What would they say on Mandalore? <laughs> you know, it's a shame you're not coming along with us. You got such a sunny disposition. <laughs> you can't imagine. I thought you wanted one of these. Oh, uh, yeah. We are off. This is amazing, man. This is like uh, stuff we've never seen before. It's like Clone Wars. And we wish to see, right? Like, it's truly unpredictable. You can tell who's who, but yeah, the this guy, man. Oh, man, you still get to wear a helmet, right? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you know what? I'm taking this thing off. I can't see anything. I don't know how you people wear those things. And by you people, I do mean Mandalorians. He's <laughs> <laughs> giving them the sound treatment. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well. You can see he's getting himself out of his comfort zone. Well. I wonder if it gets him anxious to be out of his suit. Course. The suit he used to wear was bulletproof. He's wearing it his whole life, right? We're in. Now he's wearing, yeah, now he's wearing a stormtrooper's outfit. I'm sorry, man. When Boba Fett's on your side, <laughs> it's like, oh man. It feels better when it's off. It's <laughs> just messy. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> Whoa, what's that? They don't cross until things get messy. As far as I'm concerned, if you can make it through your day and still sleep at night, you're doing better than most. That's got some good wisdom. Right. What, the what heck? a scene. What was that? Robin Ferris. Oh boy. Oh, Robin Ferris. Oh, boy. Yeah, someone's attacking him. Shit.
that was way too close. Way too close. Oh, oh my are you kidding God. me? Why? They fire so hard. Why? I don't understand. I mean, they're technically doing a good thing. Are they? Are they trying to? I'm right? Because you're fighting the Imperial, and yeah. it's not good for them because they're just gonna just get across. Oh my goodness gracious. Yes, so tell them. kind of ironic. Yeah. Look at those stormtroopers. Shore troopers too. It's just sad because I know they're trying to do a good thing. Well, they're pirates. That's but true. I guess. Yeah, you're right. It's extreme. Em Empire is not good. <laughs> yeah. You know that much. But um. But right now we're rooting for them. So it's kind of like. It's weird. Yeah. It's weird. It's complicated. Oh man. He's going to have a lot more bruises than he's used to. <laughs> so bizarre. It's like externalizing all the thoughts we have. I know. <laughs> but a great character. Yeah. Right? Must be so good, dude, to come back. Okay. All we gotta do is find a terminal. I can't believe they pulled that off. Found it. Yo, I'm nervous, man. Yeah, dude, this is way too. For the kid, man. <laughs> For the child. I like to be a dad. I mean, he's got a nice face. Sweet kid. Yeah, I do. Alright, cover your face now. Maybe. Or choose to take it off. It's a little important. <laughs> Show his character. That's why I love it. Transport co pilot. No, sir. What's your TK number? I'm afraid you're gonna have to speak out to him a little bit since his vessel lost pressure in Tainat. What's your name, officer? Uh, we just call him Brown Eyes. Is that right, <laughs> officer? Come on, let's go fill out those TPS reports. <laughs> <laughs> yes, oh, boy, come on. Gosh. What a, oh my, Look. dude. <sighs> How about a toast to Operation Cinder? Oh. Now there's a man who knows his history. Remember Operation Cinder from no, um, just know it. Battlefront 2? Mm -hmm. We lost our whole division that day. Mm. Man, it was like five, 10,000 people. Yep. All heroes of the Empire. Well, it's a small sacrifice for the greater good. Mm -hmm. Depends on who you ask, don't you think? What's he trying to do? What'd you get, Matt? True. He's picking a tooth. He should what be picking people? right now. Once he died, was it good for them? Hmm? Their families? Oh, shoot. The guys I served with? But we've outlasted them, son. The new republic is in complete disarray. We grow strong. Uh, you see what the rebellion here delivered? 
Sweden Cray and Happy has been to make burning God just pale by comparison. You see, boys, everybody thinks they want freedom. But what they really want is order. First order, yeah. Yeah, foreshadowing the hold it together, hold it together. To the empire. What? Okay, run. Oh my god, no way. I saw that coming. I guess we're taking out the whole base. You said they're foreshadowing the first order? Yeah. Ah, oh, man, what a. Oh, I love this show so much. The scenes and. Oh. Got him. It looks better than it did in the older movies, too. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Three shooters, top deck. What I love about that scene is it just, it just shows that he's human. I don't know. It's, yes. I don't know. It's just so beautifully written. I mean, they need to do this. That's <laughs> <laughs> so great. First and he's Boba. Boba. I mean, remember that scene in Clone Wars where he was like shooting the. Oh, yeah. What's this guy's name again? Awesome character. Go, go, go. Give me that cycle right there. He needs to take that down. He's yeah, a sharp, Idonia. He's a sharpshooter, right? Mm -hmm. Idonia! Oh, he is not letting them do what they wanted to do. No. He just saved a bunch of lives. He just he saved thousands of lives. Awesome, dude. Yeah, I'm awesome I mean, character. Yeah, I mean, that's incredible. Oh. Dude, what, what, a, what a character, man. What an amazing character. Uh, oh, shit. But of course, but I really, dude, Boba. He's like, really? No, he, what if he drops the bomb? Do we have company? Which one? Oh, from. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's too easy. I feel, like, I feel like he would just shoot that. I don't think he'd waste a bomb on those two guys. Are you sure? <laughs> Yes. I love these things. Oh! <laughs> you call yes! it, baby. Yes, you oh call it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so well, I know, I knew Boba Fett would flex, dude. That's, that's, <laughs> uh, wow. Boba with that safe, flex. Don't worry about them. No, they'll be fine. Well, no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, he has to join the rebellion, dude. Oh, it's not the rebellion anymore, is it? Thank you for helping. Looked to me like prisoner number 34667 died in the refiner explosion on Morak. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, man. Because I will. Did you get the coordinates on Moff Gideon? We did. So awesome for him. Wow. Imagine being that villain from season one, and then you get called back yep. to be that. Right. That's incredible, man. Oh, here we go. He's so killing me. Villain He's of the year. It's gonna end right here, every villain single time. Moff Gideon. Sir. You should see this. Gideon, you have something I want. You may think you have some idea what you are in possession of, but you do not. Soon, he will be back with me. Oh. He means more to me than you will ever know. Mm -hmm.
Oh. You know, just well, when you better in different ways. Yeah, yes, you uh, know. But that's that's the impressive part. You know, one thing yeah. is to say they did a great job bringing characters like Ahsoka and Boba, and Boba Fett, Fett, characters right. that we know that we're like waiting for. But then it's what Josh said. Then you take a villain from season one, which mm -hmm. I despised him. He was so yeah. good as right, a villain. Right. Uh, you, they bring him back to this this deep, human this, this yeah you know he's and, and you love him <laughs> it gives you a perspective yeah. as to why these criminals these outcasts are, are doing what they're doing it's like this in between you it's know? like driven from feet by fear um that they do what they do sometimes right mm -hmm. like they're just following orders that they have to follow and they're suffering that's what we just saw he, yeah. and he was facing the officer who made the call to ex basically execute Five to ten thousand men of his brothers that were brothers and sisters probably in, in the in the battle. Mm -hmm. I mean, I it was just incredible writing because I was I was wondering if he would actually hold his composure yeah. and find a way to sneak out. It was beautiful character development too. Mm -hmm. They you needed to take that, that whole place out. What happened? They needed to take that whole place out. They needed yeah. to. Yeah. You could see that moment where he realizes what they wanted with the Redonium. Mm hmm. And he was, you could just see the look on his face of like, oh no, what did we do? Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. But also, I mean, you could, the, it wasn't a, a, the perfect way to basically get rid of the whole thing. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, so it was. That's yeah. why they're bringing it. So it was like two two wins. Oh, for sure. They got what they needed and they also. Can we talk did about a this, is the leading Boba Fett? Up, this? is This is leading up to. <laughs> Boba this Fett. is chapter yes. seven. Yeah, I mean, they're going to lead up to, I think, a. Oh, chapter 15. A pretty big finale. Mm -hmm. um, or a cliffhanger. I mean, I literally have. Oh, no it will idea. be a cliffhanger. Three. And we didn't see Grogu at all this episode, <laughs> right? I mean, I mean, we saw that's... something else. We saw the m complete effect of Grogu on mm -hmm. on. Dan. I mean, he took his mask off. Yeah, for right. Like a that's, good. That's like a, that's that a, says a, a lot. Big deal. It says a lot about how much he cares about the right. child. And I think it's also, Grogu, he's, I mean, he's asking himself what it means to truly be a Mandalorian, too. And I think there's just, oh, just the too. characters, man, they're so, so great. But I he's feel like on there's going to be a Jedi revealed in the last episode of the season. Right. And Credits. That's a, that's Credits. a very good production, prediction. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, Bo yeah. You were going to say Boba something. Fett's Boba Fett's bomb. How did you guys oh, do you oh. call it? Oh, man, you called it. It's I, the best feeling ever when, when you When it goes that silent, mode. it just goes mute. I'll and be, then, I'll be honest, I've kind of forgot about that because I, I always associated that bomb with um, Jango Fett, like, you know, Attack of the Clones. Oh, right. Like, right. we never see that again because that's one of the coolest parts is when Obi-Wan's, you know. I just love how sound goes away. <laughs> All sound goes away. <laughs> and that dual boom. <laughs> it's incredible. It's, I it's incredible. It. I love that. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's very impressive. So great. The and, but it was... what I love is that there's the balance of, you know, the nostalgic things like that. That tie back to what Star Wars is, and then the new new stuff, the unpredict unpredictability of, of everything that makes it such a great adventure. So, mm -hmm. oh, what another great, amazing, outstanding episode. We mm -hmm. want to hear your guys' thoughts down below in the comments. Yes. So please let us know down below what you guys thought, what yes. you noticed, uh, yeah. speculations of things you guys, like what you guys think you guys, yeah. we're gonna see in the future. And yeah, guys, just just give us your thoughts down below. Hope you guys enjoyed our reaction today. Thank you so much for joining us. If you guys want to see more Magic of content, you guys can please consider joining the Magic of Insiders Club up here with this card to see mm -hmm. more Magic of content there. And with that, just go out there, spread your light, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Bye.